The Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals on Wednesday granted a two-week stay of execution to Richard Glossop just hours before his planned execution. Glossop was to receive a lethal injection at 3 p.m. for setting up the baseball bat killing of an Oklahoma City motel owner, Barry Van Trees. Donald Knight, an attorney for Glossop, filed an emergency request Tuesday afternoon asking the court to stay the execution based on new evidence. Our Rick Green reports the court responded in a ruling issued about 11.30 a.m. or three and a half hours before the planned lethal injection that would grant a stay to review the new filing by Glossop's attorneys. The new evidence for the court to consider involves Justin Sneed, the man who is serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole for carrying out the killing. Sneed said Glossop hired him to do it. Among the evidence is an affidavit from Michael G. Scott, a former inmate who said he served time with Sneed and overheard him bragging about framing Glossop for the murder. Other evidence is testimony from a second inmate, Richard Allen Barrett, that Sneed was a thief and a meth addict and there was no indication he was under Glossop's control. Barrett said he met both Glossop and Sneed while using drugs in the motel room Van Shreese was murdered in. Governor Mary Fallon issued a statement saying, as I've repeatedly said, court is the proper place for Richard Glossop and his legal team to argue the merits of his case. My office will respect whatever decision the court makes, as we have throughout this process. My thoughts and prayers go out to the Van Trees family, who has suffered greatly during this long ordeal. And Ryan Kiesel, ACLU of Oklahoma Executive Director, issued a statement saying the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals did today what elected officials have refused to do. We stand with the many Oklahomans and individuals around the world in expressing our gratitude to the court. For today, at least, the state of Oklahoma has avoided the execution of a man not guilty of any capital offense. Again, the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals has granted a two-week stay of execution of Richard Glossop. The new date is set for September 30, 2015.